What's up guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to set up LunarVim for Solidity development. If you don't know, Solidity is a programming language primarily for smart contracts, uh, most notably on the Ethereum blockchain, although it is compatible and works for other blockchains as well. So, but if you're familiar with Solidity, you probably know that there's not a lot of support for just, you know, basic NeoVim and Vim. And most of the development is done in something called Remix, which is like an in-browser editor, which doesn't support Vim, so it doesn't really help you if you're, if you know, you're very familiar with the Vim key bindings and all. There is also an option in VS Code, but again, it's not like real Vim, so this is a nice way to at least do it, I guess, in NeoVim, right? So let's talk about what you get. Obviously, you can see this good syntax highlighting here. Um, this comes from Vim Solidity, the plugin. I have a fork of it. Uh, if you just search it up, you'll find Vim Solidity and you can install that. That should handle pretty much all of your syntax highlighting. And again, I'm gonna go over that and show you how to install these plugins in a second. There's only like two you're gonna need if you're using Lunar Vim. Now, the other thing that I'll show you here is that if we get rid of a character there on event, it'll see that it's an error. So we got diagnostics for errors. We also got diagnostics for warnings. So like this event isn't being used anywhere. Um, so you got that. The next thing that we can take a look at is hover. So if we go over here to is owner, you can see that if we jump up here to is owner, so that's a mapping address to bool public is owner. So what you can do is you can do shift K on top of it and you can see mapping is, it's a map of type mapping address to bool. And also it's a where of the built-ins like message.sender, message.value, all that kind of thing. So if you're familiar with Solidity, you know this is like a built-in and that kind of thing. It's just nice that it supports it, right? The next thing that I'll talk about is completion. So we can do like pragma here. We got a snippet for that. We also got a snippet for contract so you got this contract here also for like a constructor so if you want to just quickly get that um, the next thing that I'll show you is just regular key completion so the the language server that we're using doesn't actually support completion so what I'm using is uh, tab 9 to do the completion so I'll show you the plugin for that when I go over installing all these things so if we go down here to like event you can see tab 9 knows about event if you you, you know address it knows about address, um, probably it knows about struct as well, see. So these, all these completions you'll notice are coming from tab nine. So it's just nice that all of that's built in. It's not coming from the buffer. It's like tab nine actually knows the language somewhat, right? Uh, the next thing is you might see like something if we go into mapping, you got a snippet for mapping, but also tab nine knows about mapping. Okay, so that's most of what I wanted to show you. Um, also, obviously with Lunar Vim, you got things like a nice explorer, you got, the ability to search files with telescopes so we could like search through the files if there was like a lot of files or whatever and yeah so let's also go over here and show you how to set up the config so if you've installed lunar vim then inside of if you're on mac it'll be like users user and then dot config elvim if you're on linux it'll be home user dot config elvim and then if we open up config dot lua just scroll all the way down. You can ignore all of this, doesn't matter. You'll see a, a big table or a list here, uh, lvim.plugins. And so just pass in a plugin, just like all the other plugins. So here's one, this is my fork of Vim Solidity. You'll probably have something like Tom Lyon Solidity, or you could just pull in uh, my fork of Vim Solidity, which I think works better with Lunar Vim, like the colors and stuff like that. Uh, the next plugin we're gonna wanna take a look at is tab nine for CMP. And so this adds a source for CMP to be able to just complete for tab nine. You just have to install this and you'll basically just have tab nine up and running for all languages, but in this case, notably Solidity. So then you'll have tab nine as well, which will give you like those AI completions. Um, so yeah, that's, that's pretty much it to get like everything besides the diagnostics and the hover. So let's talk about how to get the diagnostics and the hover. So what you're gonna to wanna to do is go over to Hyperledger Labs, which just go to their GitHub, github.com uh, slash Hyperledger Labs slash Solang. And then what you're gonna to wanna to do is go to their releases and come down here and you can get, a, you can get one of these binary releases here. Uh, this is the one for Linux, there's a separate one for Mac ARM and Mac Intel, and there's also one for Windows as well. 
When you pull this down, make sure to rename the binary to just Solang. Uh, if it, right here you can see it says Mac ARM or Mac Intel or Solang Linux or whatever. Just make sure to name it to just Solang. After doing that, make sure that it's in your path somewhere. Um, LunarVim will just pick up on it if it's in your path. What does it mean for something to be in your path? So let's talk about that for a second. If I do echo path, it's you'll notice that like pretty much all of them end in some form of like bin. Like this one is for conda, this one's for go, um, this one's for cargo. You can actually just cargo install Solang. So if you already know about like how to set up a cargo environment, you can just cargo install it. It's all built in Rust, so you can just pull it down like that. But where I put things is in essentially my user local bin. That's where I put it and I added that to my path. And to add that to your path, you'll want to open up your Z shell RC. Wait, hold on one second. Open up your Z shell RC and add this line. And this is just appending this directory to your path. So it'll just know to look for executables there. Uh, this is, by the way, how you would do it for cargo as well, if you would rather use cargo. Now, if we go into dot local bin, you should see your Solang in here. You should have renamed it from Solang Linux or Mac Arm or whatever to just Solang. And then the other thing you're going to want to do is make sure that it is executable. So if we do chmod plus x Solang, there you go. And if you have like highlighting in your terminal, then you should notice that it's probably, it's probably, it should be green if you have highlighting in your terminal. If not, just make sure that you can dot slash Solang and then from anywhere in your system, be able to run Solang just like that. And then you'll know that it works. All right, and so that's pretty much it. I don't think there's really much else to really say about it. Uh, it's probably the best experience you're gonna get in NeoVim for Solidity development that I've seen at least. Uh, eventually, I, I assume the Ethereum devs or, or the Solidity devs will support an official language server and in the future, LunarVim and you know regular NeoVim uh, will be able to support that language server with even more uh, features and stuff like that so you don't have to use something like Tab9 and it probably would just be more accurate anyway. But this is what we have for now. So, you know, I, I think it'll be pretty helpful for, for people who want to do local development in NeoVim with Solidity. This seems like one of the best options that you have. So that's pretty much it. Um, if you don't know anything about LunarVim, you can go over to LunarVim.org and you can install it. You can click on install here and you can figure out how to install it and all. I also have a video on installing the rolling release of LunarVim, so you can check out that video. It'll be in the same playlist as this video is in, so you'll be able to figure out how to install LunarVim from there. Also, if you want to check it out, you can go over to my GitHub. You can see LunarVim um, is the first thing there. You can also go to the organization LunarVim here, and you can see what we're working on over there. You can also sponsor me and LunarVim here on my sponsors page, on my GitHub. You can sponsor me over on Patreon as well. And if you are you know, inclined to do so with crypto, uh, if you're like a Solidity developer or something like that, I'd appreciate it if you said something like this. This would be pretty cool. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, you can also check me out over at chrisatmachine.com. Links to all my socials are there. That's pretty much it for this video, and I'll see you guys in the next one.